Hey, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee, and I am with Ken, who has an amazing car of the week. I normally say what it is at this particular point in time, but Ken gave me a lift over here. So we're gonna to cut to that video and then come back in just a second. Ken, here we are. Right. We're gonna go around the car in a minute, but Ken just said, uh, do you wanna ride as we go up to where we normally do the video? So here we are in this amazing Land Rover. Um, we might as well get the interview started straight away. How long have you owned it, Ken? Uh, I've owned this one for about three years. I have its uh, identical twin up in Oregon that we bought maybe eight or nine years ago. Oh, I just love it. And what year is this? This is a 67. Now, were they called Defenders in 67? No, no, this is a, it's called a Series 2 Exactly. And it's a 109, so 109 is the, the length of the wheelbase. It's got the longer uh, longer chassis. Yeah, and a lot of people misunderstand that. They think that all, because the, the look didn't really change, everybody thinks these earlier ones are still called Defenders. They are not. They are not. So it's really interesting. And as we ride along there, what we're gonna do, Ken, is, is we're gonna stay out wide. Okay. And we're gonna head over here and pull up, sort of, stay over to the left a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll jump out. Okay. And this about here looks absolutely perfect. Okay. Let's jump out and go around the outside of this amazing car. All right. As we just said, this is not a Defender. A lot of people see this body shape because they didn't change for so many years and think they are a Defender, but this is way before the years of Defenders. One of the telltale signs of these early ones are the headlights uh, on the inside of the fenders. In later years, the headlights came on the outside. The idea of putting them in the middle was, of course, to protect them when you're going through some rugged terrain. Uh, this thing is amazing. As you said, you've got two of them. Did you put this through the restoration yourself? We did a fair amount of the restoration, but when we purchased it, um, it the, the prior owners just cared for it a great deal. That's the one thing about these old Land Rovers is that once people get a hold of them, they really, they're easy to work on. Yep. And people tend to treat them as their, um, their project vehicles. It's not that easy to get original parts for them, but the prior owner, and then we've tried to be faithful to that as well, did a really nice job of keeping it quite authentic to the to the Land Rover spec. Yeah, I like the fact that this thing looks like it's been restored, but it also still looks like it's got some miles on it, and you're not afraid to get it muddy, and you're not afraid to do what it was yeah. built to do. Let's have a look. Now, how many people did you have in this when you pulled <laughs> in this morning? I couldn't believe it. It was like, you were full. You had two people down either side, three across the middle, and then three across the front. Um, there's little wonder they used to carry troops in these right. things, huh? Technically, you could carry 12 people in this, and um, we've maxed out at about 10 people. Uh, it's a, it's just crazy how many people you can fit in there. Yeah. Um, and of course, the thing about Land Rovers, a lot of people don't know, is the history. I mean, they've been around for a long time. The head designer at Rover uh, actually had a Jeep that he was using on his farm in the UK. Before that, he actually used a, a tank of all things. He used this Jeep, really liked it, and decided they'd build one at Rover. And he actually draw the, drew the first designs in the sand on the beach. The original one, in fact, the prototype, the steering wheel's actually in the middle because he figured that if we make it center drive, then you, it, you can sell it into left or right-hand drive countries, right. Right. and you can do the same thing. The problem was, back in those days, there were no indicators or blinkers. You couldn't do a hand signal sitting in the middle. So they got rid of that pretty quickly. But since that time, it's actually become one of the long, it was the longest model that was in production, I think, of any vehicle. Uh, did Outdid things like uh, the Citroen, uh, 2CV and, and, and some of those other classic vehicles because it was in production for so long. And one of those reasons is that so many military uh, from around the world were using this particular vehicle and had so many years of spare parts, yeah. they didn't want to change them dramatically. They, they, they made versions of this with tracks, they made versions of this for fire trucks, tow trucks, uh, uh, armoured versions for military, as well as versions for off-road, for adventurers. In fact, there is no other motor vehicle in the world that was the first motor vehicle remote peoples and remote tribes saw than a Land Rover, Land Rover which is kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, let's have a look under the hood because I love, 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 love those le leather straps as well. They look so authentic. Yeah, very, um, nothing too pretty under the hood. No, but it was never meant to be. Never meant to be that pretty. Now, this is not the original motor in this thing, is it? This is, so the original motor on this would have been a 2.25 liter petrol motor. Yep. This is a, a, a Defender motor, so yep. it's a 200 turbo diesel. Yep. 
um, from a 1996 Defender, so it's Land Rover, but it's from the newer, newer spec. Which is, is this the one they call the TD4? T, uh, 200 TDI. TDI, yeah. okay. But it's uh, it's the four-cylinder turbo diesel yeah. engine. Um, Tiny little Garrett turbo on there. It works. I, I just love this on every, every angle. This thing is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Um, and you've kept it so authentic. Love the license plate as well. Old smelly. Uh, it is. <laughs> well, as our car of the week winner, you get this wow. Meguiar's uh, polishing sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer, and hot shine foam. Keep this magnificent Land Rover in the pristine condition of the scene. Thank you so much for bringing it out, and Thank congratulations. You, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.